I don't give Disney usually a pat on the back. I think a pat on the back and a high five. For a week now, even a few more, they kind of actually got their straight. I mean, <clears throat> in the long days of where it used to be, you have weekday stuff to watch as a kid. And now it's gone. Disney actually is like, no, we're going to freaking put some excitement back into this. Hey, yeah. So what Disney has done, basically, definitely for like a week now, I don't know if they're going to continue on because they said for two weeks they're going to do this. But even so, without the two weeks, I still have to say they did kind of do a decent job. So what Disney has done from Monday through Friday, they started at two and they end at, I think, five or so. So basically, they kind of have the same exact. Let me, let me check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think at least five. So basically, they did the awesome job to actually make it like, oh, that is pretty good. So from two to two to three, which again, I like to say that's not a good idea. How about you move it like, you know, maybe to four o'clock? That makes much more sense because kids are able to get there. I don't know about I don't know about every other kid, but I can just tell you that two to three they'll be still in school and i know you're gonna say oh but the disney app but i'm just saying i'm just saying technically kind of sort of you should actually because if no one actually has an app or you can't really do the app and you try to do on demand sadly on demand will say netflix and that's where it's the dumbest bullcrap of ever so it's like yeah you should definitely actually allow them to yeah anyways so miraculous for one hour. Then after that, they have. If I I gotta make sure it's like yeah, hold on, I'm gonna make sure because I'm pretty sure like I had to wait a little bit to see what I wanted to see, and let me just let me just click as fast as I can because you can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. You're a monster. I'm not a monster. <laughs> Sorry, just some commentary of what I always remember about the Shrek movie. Shrek movie is just too good for his <laughs> it's just too good. Oh my gosh. 534 Miraculous, even though it's not the new and in quotations new episode, it's still messed up. Okay, there we go. So three o'clock to have DuckTales. Then 3.30, they have Big Hero 6. That's a big nod. Mm -hmm. Then we have Big City Green, and technically it stops at 5.30. Yeah, so Big City Green happens three times, which I actually have to say, that actually is a pretty good show. Crazy enough, it's like, yeah, it's like they found some way to harness the wholesomeness of Harvey Beaks, may it rest in peace, Doug, Hey Arnold, they figured out a way to actually f get that and it's like that's what they have here they have one that actually is decent storytelling and not a complete mess of oh look at me oh aren't we goofy <laughs> instead it's more like they actually figured out some way to have the goofy mix mixed into the story and actually have a proper story it works so it it looks like it's going to be, it's, it's good. It's good. It's a good start. I don't know what happened if they're going to continue on with Big Hero 6 or not. They're allowing new episodes, 10 episodes and all. As for uh, Miraculous, they're going, now they're in the second season. So it's like, hmm, so are you going to do the third season? Because the third season is the newest one that's on the block right now. And they only have so far seven. They have an eighth one out, but the eighth one hasn't been dubbed yet. So we'll just have to see, but I think they're actually just mixing Miraculous around and they kind of can season one and two, they can mix it around. So I'm just saying they are doing a decent job making it that this is the place to be when it comes to afternoon shows. If you want to see some afternoon shows, especially as a kid, Cartoon Network eh, is the same old, same old. I mean, you just need some action. You need some action. That's that's what kids need. Kids need some action. And what you doing? Mm, the same old, same old. Nothing very particular. I mean, the freaking Baku gone is on Saturdays and early mornings. No more um Steven Universe because, well, now it's gone. All that's left now is just a freaking movie. Um, 
Justice League action. I have no idea where the hell that is. Sorry for cussing little kids. Sorry, but I have no idea where in the world that is. Um, Transformers has been booted off the island. They allow Mega Man, but it's kind of weird how they do it because Mega Man, they kind of allowed it to show up at noon and then now it's not at noon anymore. So they keep just shuffling and it's like, well, if you actually make an effort, it's like you make an effort to actually show that, yeah, we remember the old days and here we go. We're set some some time aside from three to five. That's that's all you got to do. That's for Nick. I don't really know. <laughs> it's like, Nick, they're putting a decent effort. They are having Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but it's like they own it now. Of course, they're doing that crap because they own it now and they have full control. Of course, they're going to push it everywhere they can. And Power Rangers is kind of like, we put it on two days a week. That's not that bad, right? And it's like, yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's pretty bad. I mean, you're talking about the ones who used to have Miraculous and they treated it like horrible. Sh- kind of, yeah, they treated it kind of worse than Power Rangers, actually, because it was on Saturday and then they kicked it to the curve and said, OK, you're just going to go on Sunday at five. OK, and well, as soon as it's like fizzled out, it's like, well, it's your fault. But Disney, you're doing a great job. <laughs>